Hey everybody, thanks for stopping in. When I was at the grocery store earlier, I saw some Portabella mushroom caps that were marked down, so I grabbed them. But uh, I always thought it was spelled Portobello with O's, and these say Portabella with A's. So I looked it up when I got home, and I guess it's spelled both ways. So um, anyway, I'm going to try baking these in my toaster oven. So let's get toasting. So here are my mushroom caps. They are marked down to $1.99. They're usually about $4.49 for two of them. They're kind of expensive sometimes. And I already opened them up and wiped them off. I wanted to make sure they were okay. Um, this one has a stem, so maybe I'll just go ahead and pull that off of there. And um, I'm not gonna put any oil on them or anything. I'm just gonna try sticking them in a the toaster oven like that and baking them. And, see how they come out. And then I'm going to uh, put some Havarti cheese on them when they're uh, done. I set my oven to bake at 400 degrees and I'm just going to let those cook until they look soft. Not quite sure how long that'll take but we'll be back. It's been about 17 or 18 minutes so let's check on these. Well you can see how much they've shrunk down and you see them steaming. Um, I think they're probably ready to put the cheese on. These look good and before I uh, put the cheese on, I'm going to put a little salt and pepper on these. All the TV chefs on say you uh, shouldn't salt mushrooms till the end because it draws the moisture out of them. So a little salt and pepper here. Alright, that looks good. We'll get our Havarti cheese on there. And then I'll just put them back in the oven until the cheese melts. This thing is probably pretty hot, but let's cut into it and see how it looks. Man, this is really, really good. Just like this. But you know, there's a lot of things you could do with this. You could, uh, you know, make a sandwich out of it. You could put it on top of a hamburger. You could put it in a chicken sandwich. Be a great side dish for a steak. Just lots of things you could do with it. But I'm just gonna finish eating this one just like this because it goes great with the Havarti cheese. Super simple too. Hope you guys like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.